I'm Celia. And I'm Emma. Welcome back to our channel. Today we will be talking about five reasons why plastic is harmful to the environment. Reason number one. Plastic is made from oil, which is obtained through a process known as hydraulic fracking. This process pushes water, sand, and chemicals into rock at a high pressure to collect gas and oil. This can be extremely destructive to our environment, since the toxic chemicals can seep into groundwater and drinking water, and they are extremely unhealthy for humans to be exposed to. It also uses up millions of gallons of water per well. Wastewater that comes from this process is injected into the ground, causing earthquakes. On top of this, methane gas is produced from mining, and the fossil fuels used in transportation both contribute to climate change. Along with methane gas, a number of other air pollutants are released while drilling, which are detrimental to human health and affect air quality. Lastly, oil spills occur occasionally within this industry, meaning impacts to local ecosystems and soil contamination. Reason number two. Most plastic is not biodegradable. It usually takes plastic at least 1,000 years to decompose. Even worse, we mainly use single-use plastic, which means it gets thrown away even more quickly. Not all plastic can be recycled, and most people do not realize it. All of the plastic waste is later taken to landfills where it will live way longer than we ever will. As the plastic slowly breaks down into the earth, there is a toxic gas that is released called bisphenol A, or better known as BPA, which harms the surrounding atmosphere. However, there are some plastics that are biodegradable, such as PLA plastic, which is made out of cornstarch, cassava, or sugarcane. These types of plastics only take three to six months to decompose compared to regular plastic. We will be talking more about this type of stuff in another video. Reason number three. Although we've believed that a lot of the plastic that we've been putting in the blue bins is actually getting recycled, the truth is that only about 10% has actually been recycled. The reality is that it's much more costly to recycle plastic, especially to sort out the different kinds of plastic, than it is to simply make new plastic. And a lot of plastic companies are not willing to put in the time, money, or the effort to do this. Initially, recycling was an advertising ploy designed by oil companies to abate any fears the public had about plastic waste's impact on the environment, even though they realized this wouldn't keep plastic out of the landfills. This is especially true because plastic can only be recycled a limited number of times, since each time the material degrades. The confusion between which plastics can and can't be put in the recycling bin only makes matters worse. For a time, the U.S. sent its plastic to China, which had made a business out of recycling. However, in recent years, China has severely cut down on the amount of plastic it will take, which means that the U.S. has had to deal with the excess plastic itself. This means a lot of it has been going to the landfills or has been incinerated, which releases carbon dioxide. Reason number four. Many forms of wildlife consume plastic which disrupts entire systems. When an animal eats even the smallest amount of plastic, it can cause a great deal of problems. When an animal eats plastic, it is usually because it is unable to distinguish if it is food or not. Many ocean animals, especially sea turtles, may mistake something like a plastic bag for a jellyfish and end up eating it. Swallowed plastic goes into the stomach where it does not break down very easily. It fills the need for hunger for an animal, and they can start to starve themselves without even knowing it. Bigger pieces of plastic can block the gastrointestinal tract, which can cause further complications. Animals are not only affected by the consumption of plastic, though. We as people do not watch what we throw away. Not everything ends up in trash, and as a result, it ends up in habitats where wildlife lives. Organisms get caught in the plastic, and it intrudes with their everyday lives. In fact, coral reefs that have an excess amount of plastic debris are 20 times more likely to die. Reason number five. Humans are actually absorbing the chemicals from plastics, which can lead to a number of health conditions and affect our hormones. In fact, there are detectable levels of chemicals from plastic that can be found within our bodies. High exposure to BPA is linked to heart disease and diabetes. 
experiments, while exposure to PBDEs in animals is shown to cause brain damage. There is also evidence to suggest that these chemicals can affect reproduction and cause defects. However, more research needs to be done to fully understand the impact of these chemicals on humans. These are just some of the reasons on why plastic is harmful for the environment. There are many other reasons that we did not discuss, but to make a change, we collectively have to come together and start with smaller steps so we can work up to a less plastic planet. Thank you so much for watching, and if you are interested in hearing more, please subscribe to our channel and... We will be seeing you again soon. Thank you.